Hello everyone, welcome back to another Generation Gap Reacts video. We are listening to another meatloaf song. This one is Bat Out of Hell. Fantastic, fantastic. I'm on my meatloaf journey as well. Even though I'm much older and I've heard of meatloaf, I've never really followed him before yep. until just recently. And I think, where have I been? He's wonderful. Yep. So this is a highly requested song by Meatloaf. Everybody keeps saying, you have to do Bad Out of Hell, Bad Out of Hell. So here we go. <laughs> that's what we're doing. Here we go. The only thing I know about it is a couple people in the comments said that this is like a motorcycle enthusiast anthem. So that's all I know about it. You know more than me. Well, now you know, because I, I know. just told you. Yeah, thank you for that. <laughs> <laughs> so, you ready to get started? Yes, I am. All right. So bright, there's evil in the air, and there's thunder in the sky, and a killer's on the bloodshot streets. Oh, I'm down in the tunnel with a deadly arise. I know I swear I saw a young boy down in the cover, he was stopping the foam in the heat. Oh, baby, you're the only thing in this whole world that's pure and good and right. And wherever you are, and wherever you go, there's always gonna be some light. But I gotta get out, I gotta break it out now, before the thing will cut it down. So you gotta make the most of our one night together, when it's over, you know, we'll both be so alone. Yes, you were going to say something? I was wondering where this song was going and why why does he have to leave like a bat out of hell? What what what's he running away from? Haven't figured that out, but so far uh this is very theatrical and uh I love it and I loved the beginning with the piano when it the piano got boom boom got intense. Yes. And the 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 piano is very highlighted so far in this. Yes. It's very important Agreed. for the song. And so he's singing about some sort of love that's good and right, but like a bat out of hell, he's got to go before the dawn. I yes. don't know. Yes, so that's uh, and then something about heaven it, it, anyways, I, I'm curious. So, all right, all right, we'll keep going. Put it, we'll put it all together. <laughs>
was gonna be some last But I gotta get out, I gotta break it out now Before the final cracker is gone So we gotta make the most of our one night together When it's over, you know, we'll both be so alone entertaining this is so tense like where is this song going you know with meatloaf songs you they come full circle there's there's explanation to his songs like, i remember our last one we're like where is this song going and then we just listened to the whole song and then it's like okay it made sense there's a story that how colorful are these lyrics so colorful it, it sounds like He's in love with someone, but he needs to leave like a bat out of hell. Yeah. And with little words here and there, I almost feel like there may not be a happy ending. Yeah. Like a sinner at the gates of heaven. He yes. Yeah. And then I see some foreshadowing with the motorcycle driving through a cemetery. Did you catch? Yes. Did you catch some of those little scenes too? I'm, sh I mean, we're talking, and I, I feel like we're talking. Everybody's like, just keep watching. Be quiet. Just keep. Watching. Well, uh, you'll get it if you just keep watching. Well, in the very beginning, I can't remember what the lyrics were, but, but it's almost like he gave a hint to the ending. Like, oh. oh, 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 oh! I know the the line that really stuck out to me. It was like, a boy in the gutter. That and then there was something else. Anyways, we'll just that's we'll the just. one that stuck out to me, and the lyrics are so colorful. The lyrics are so good. The piano is amazing, and then the the different changes of tempo and every people are gonna start saying that I'm using the wrong terms or that the tempo is the same, but it's this that changed. Okay, I'm sorry. But you get what I'm trying to say is that it's slow and then it's fast and then it's slow and then it's a little fast and then it picks up and it's like, it's like a roller coaster of emotions going through this song. So we're only halfway through. There's gonna be an explanation. And he's got tons of energy. Yes, but I, I just, I feel tense. Like I'm in a good way. Like, where is this going? Yeah. <laughs> Before the gates of heaven, I'll come crawling on back to you.
losing song Torn and twisted at the foot of a burning bar And I think somebody somewhere must be torn in a bell And the last thing I see is my heart still beating I'm breaking out of my body and flying away Like a bat out of hell And I'm dying at the bottom of a pit in a blazing sun I'm torn and twisted at the foot of a burning bike And I think somebody somewhere must be told in a bed So he dies at the end. That was a bit morbid. His lyrics that <laughs> kind of describes his heart coming out. And the last thing he sees is his heart. Yeah, it was very descriptive that that motorcycle crash. He saw the curve too late. And he was dying in a pit in the blazing sun. And then he, there were even some lyrics about his, his skin being raw. So... That kind of describes road rash to me when you crash and your skin, you know. <laughs> uh, yeah, a little morbid there. Very descriptive with the whole death scene. But it was very epic in the way that he was singing it. And I'm hoping, because it had like a tinge of happiness at the end sounding sound wise that maybe you know he was riding off on his motorcycle something that he loves to do he was riding off into heaven with his motorcycle well I still have not figured out why did he have to leave like a bat out of hell did you ever pick up mm -mm. the reason why he had to leave unless he's just kind of a drifter and he just likes to stay in one place. He likes to travel on his motorcycle and he wanted to have one last night with some girl and then he had to leave. So I'm just thinking maybe he's just a drifter and just likes to travel around and not be at one place for too long. I have no idea. Well, with the first verse, it was kind of describing a boy with a gun in his hand and then boy in the gutter so maybe tough upbringing or just hanging with the wrong crowd and I don't know what the situation was that he could only spend one night with her and then he had to escape like a bat out of hell that ended up leading to him not seeing the curve before it was too late and then this fiery at crash motorcycle crash um, yeah. What a very descriptive, epic motorcycle song. I mean, really, I think, I think that it was just a very theatrical, well written. The lyrics were incredible, and I have to give a shout out to not only the 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 songwriter, which is Jim. People have told us in the comments that Jim Steinman was the lyricist for him, and I'm assuming he also composed the song but it might be a different person who did that and then he also played piano so I have to give a shout out to the piano because that was incredible and the guitar and I think somewhere in there where it sounded like a motorcycle 
was it actual motorcycle revving sounds or was it a guitar because it kind of sounded like a guitar. That's a great observation. I didn't pick up on that part. I it, I mean, I could be wrong, but but then also the guitarist just throughout this song was so amazing. And then Meatloaf, so theatrical. That's what I love about him so much. As you can see, I know people say that he's an actor. So that's just really helping with these videos because he's so... He has that emotion and that passion. At the end, his eyes were all intense and kind of crazy. So, I mean, it's it's just like a lot of fun watching him perform because he's not just singing the song. He's immersing himself in the song. And I mean, it was that was like a wild ride. Literally, that was it, a ride. It was, and a lot of his songs that I've listened to so far is kind of the same. It's, you're just, you can't move. You it's can't, it's you, intense. It's so intense, and, and hopefully the doorbell doesn't ring. <laughs> <laughs> Our doorbell. <laughs> Do I deposit it in the middle, which has happened before? A few times. <laughs> but this is another song that I could listen to over and over again, because I want to figure out if someone could tell me, why did he have to leave so quickly? And he, he he's just... I don't have the the words how incredible he is. He could have also been singing to his motorcycle too. You think so? I mean, it's possible. He doesn't ever once say girl or woman. It is a, it's possible he it, could have been singing about his love of his motorcycle. Um I got because, the feeling Well, sorry to interrupt. Go ahead. No, that was it. No, I just ha have the feeling that he was talking about a woman. I mean, like, yes, it, that, one, that would be last, obvious. One last night. But he's he's full of energy. He's very dramatic yeah. and very passionate. Everything you just, you basically just said, he, he is just an incredible performer. Mm -hmm. And if, if this song didn't end where he dies, it's sad. It's, it's a very upbeat song. I know. You want to just kind of jam to this song, but then it's kind of sad, but... Yeah, and then with with the different, like, roller coaster, the highs of the song are really upbeat, but then the lows of the song, you know, when it gets a little slower and there's more focus on the piano, there is some tone to the song, some drama to the song, where it, it is telling you that this song is not a happy ending song. Like you can hear it, you can feel it yeah. in the song, which I think is just incredible. Just incredible and the intenseness in his face and when he just kind of moves around, his hair's all over the place and just, just he's, he's a fantastic performer. Yeah, well this video was a lot of fun. I loved this one. So thank you to everybody who has followed along on our meatloaf journey. Where do we go next from here? What's our next meatloaf song? We'd love to know because we want to keep doing them. So if you enjoyed it, please give this video a like, thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, follow along our meatloaf journey, check out our other reaction videos, and we'll see you in the next one. Thank you for watching. Bye. Bye.